Hey, so last weekend and this weekend were incredibly uneventful. I wasn't able to record much of anything. I wasn't able to even like get on my computer and open up my editing program. But I have about four hours until I have to go to work and I decided to uh, make a part two to a video that I said I would make back in September. Male Living Spaces part two. I hope you enjoy this stupid video. This is a prime example of how men live. Just a TV and uh, that's it. I personally think it could use like a chair or something, but it's got carpet, so it's gonna be a soft floor. So therefore, sit on the floor. Yo, shout out to this guy. He made a bed frame out of milk crates and he put a freaking Soviet flag next to him. In my opinion, this guy just knows how to live. The ideal male living space, a TV, a place to sit, and that's it. I personally think it could use just a little more, but at the end of the day, it's all you need. I like this one because it's a little more organized than the other ones, but it is just as minimal. It has a TV, computer setup, and a place to sit, and, and it just seems a little cleaner than the other ones, but at the end of the day, it is all the male essentials. So I think this is a success. This is the perfect basement life right here. You have a computer setup over there, lots of room for activities, and you have a double bed. You have pretty much a king size bed over there. The reason this one sticks out to me the most is because of how tidy and more clean it is, but also there's plenty of room for VR stuff, so you got plenty of space to play on VR. The main reason I love this one is because on the male living space subreddit, this guy titled his, his post, upgraded my basement a little. I'm not exactly sure what he upgraded, but to me I'm guessing it's the three entertainment uh, attractions in the background. This guy is going far, shout out to him, keep it up. To the average male, this is beautiful. You've got self defense over there. You got a sound system, you got a TV, you got a console, and you got a controller and a random knife. I don't really need that, but regardless, perfect living space right here. Hey, the room might not be pretty, but it's not about that. Here we've got a guy who decided to hold on to his childhood stuff, and I respect that. But, it, like I said before, male essentials, a place to sit and something to look at. So this is a good living space that I recommend any other guy live. Do I even need to say anything? Now this is the basic male living essentials. Place to sit entertainment, uh, also a guest seat, and that's not required, but it's a good little touch, and you got some food over there, and just in one big room for activities, all that room you can do stuff with. All it needs, in my opinion, is just a mini fridge. With this setup, you pretty much get the whole package, right? You have a place to sit, a place, to, something to play, and something to watch, and just be comfortable. I personally think I would get a little tired of this living space, but it does the job, and it does the job well. There is absolutely nothing wrong with sleeping in a sleeping bag. It's a sleeping bag. That's what it's for. Seems like a cozy room with a pretty solid computer setups, and also I think that's an Xbox on the floor. I could be wrong, but regardless, perfect male living space. It just needs a TV. Mattress, TV, Xbox, and a roof over your head. That is what this, that's just all I get from this, and really I don't see any, I don't see any issue with it. I just, all with me, I personally like having blankets, but I'm sure he has blankets somewhere. Or he has an alternative. He, no, he probably just sleeps with his clothes on. The title of this post is The Worst Male Living Space. I disagree with that. It has really cozy looking couch, couches. They look really cushy. And there's a TV and there's a, there's a rug. So, I mean, what's wrong with it? Aside from the anime on the wall, this is genuinely one of my favorite ones that I have found. This beanbag looks super comfortable. It has a pretty good looking uh, setup over there and the TV and everything. It has a nice little storage space over there. This is a, an upgraded minimalist right here. That's what I call them. This is more of a male dining space. The chairs don't match the table, but that doesn't matter because they're chairs, it's a table, it works. Guys will legitimately move into a flat or an apartment like this and just leave it this way. Like, oh, we're just getting started and then it just stays like that forever. And in my opinion, this is okay. The bed is right next to the kitchen, so you could always grab a midnight snack real quick. Has a chair over there, has a TV, or excuse me, a couch over there, has a TV and a TV stand and a dresser. I think this guy is like the king of male living spaces. He's doing good. So yeah, that's it for this video. I just wanted to make a little part two video, uh, part two, a follow up for my, my last male living spaces video. And I wanted to put out a video this weekend because I wasn't able to last weekend. So I hope this video lived up to your expectations because it's all you're going to get. Anyway, I'll try to have a better video up by next weekend or the week after. You guys know me. I'm not consistent at all. But with all that shit said, I'm going to end the video now. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Yeah.